afternoon. Our next inductee was sponsored by the Ontario Federation of Agriculture, Peter Hannum. Peter Hannum has been a pivotal player in the development of the soybean as a major crop in Ontario, with soybean acreage moving steadily from the southwest corner of Ontario in the 1960s to many other parts of the province and Canada. Peter's acumen in agribusiness and marketing and his ability to seize opportunities in developing short season soybean varieties and other crop technology advances have played a vital role in this growth. In 1982, Peter Hannum became the president of First Line Seeds, which was a partnership of 12 independent seed growers introducing high quality certified seed and new genetics to Ontario's soybean growers. First Line Seeds created new markets for growers with the development of identity preserved IP soys along with foreign niche markets for food grade soybeans. Under Peter's leadership, First Line Seeds began Project Soy in 1996 to encourage students to think about the potential of soybeans in the development of new products and business opportunities for entrepreneurs. Then, in 2001, Peter initiated Soy 2020, whose mission is to serve as an incubator of new ideas connecting government, academia, and industry to stimulate new global bioscience opportunities for Canadian soybeans. Continuing the research and development support, the Hannum family created the Hannum Soybean Utilization Fund to stimulate innovative research in the utilization of soybeans. The results have been impressive, ranging from the creation of new biofibers for the car industry to the incorporation of soybean nutrients into processed foods. In addition to his visionary successes in the soybean industry, Peter Hannum's other important legacy to Ontario agriculture has been his focus on mentorship in fostering a new talent base and visionary thinking, resulting in outstanding new business opportunities in this province and across Canada. In 2005, Peter and partner Tom Lammer opened the Ontario Agri Centre in Guelph to house as many as 17 agriculture-based tenants as part of the effort to bring a diverse industry together and to stimulate opportunities to cooperate for the advancement of agriculture. Over a lifetime, Peter has shown great leadership in a number of organizations, including the Canadian Seed Trade Association, the Canadian Soybean Export Association, the Ontario Agricultural College, International Advisory Council, the Canadian Agri-Food Policy Institute, and as President of the Ontario Federation of Agriculture, 1977-79. He has been widely recognized for his many achievements and contributions to agriculture, business and trade, and these honors include the Distinguished Agrologist Award, Ontario Institute of Agrologists, 1998, the Agri-Marketer of the Year, Canadian Agri-Marketing Association, 1998, the Innovation Award, Monsanto Canada, 2000, the Seed Achievement Award, Canadian Seed Trade Association, 2005, Canadian Agricultural Hall of Fame, 2006, and an Honorary Doctor of Science, University of Guelph, 2007. Certainly, Peter Hannum is most worthy of induction into the Ontario Agricultural Hall of Fame. And as Peter makes his way forward, I invite his friends, family, and supporters to stand. Thank you very much, Kathy. I first of all want to thank OFA for the nomination and whoever else supported that, I appreciate that very much. And of course, I thank the Hall of Fame for providing me with this, uh, this honor and, uh, and you have no idea how important it is to me. I particularly like to thank the Hall of Fame 
for doing it in a barn. You make me feel so much at home. <laughs> Particularly when it's located right next to the Pushlinch Town Hall. That's the white building you walk by coming in. When that building was in its original location at the Aberfoyle Fairgrounds, I had my first beer out behind that one night. <laughs> so I really feel right at home. <laughs> I have had a tremendous journey through various parts of agriculture and I have been very fortunate to have a lot of support. So tonight I want to, this afternoon, I want to dedicate this honor to those who have helped me and supported me and who, from whom I have learned a lot. First of all to the family of course, to Sandra and all the family for taking care of business while I was away so much. I want to dedicate it to all of those teams that have worked with me through these various uh, enterprises I got involved with. I have met some wonderful people, very talented, diverse, and I have learned at every stage of the operation, so I dedicate it to them. So you know who you are and you each own a little bit of that, uh, that the portrait. And to today we are looking back at past accomplishments but I want to dedicate this also to young people who want to get in, who are getting into agriculture, and to look to the future. You folks, you young folks, are t so talented, so bright, so eager. And I look very much forward to seeing industry as it progresses. You know, when you consider that I started farming with horses, and today, of course, everything is so computerized and even robots are taking a more and more active role on the farm. It's hard to fathom where these young folks will take agriculture and, uh, and I wish them well. So dig into it with both feet. Use all your intellect. Use all your passion to create the future for yourselves which you deserve in the most important industry in this province. So thank you very much again. I appreciate this.